a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Daniel Day-Lewis Sir Daniel Michael Blake Day-Lewis is a retired English actor who holds both British and Irish citizenship. Born and raised in London, he excelled on stage at the National Youth Theatre, before being accepted at the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School, which he attended for three years. Despite his traditional training at the Bristol Old Vic, Day-Lewis is considered a method actor, known for his constant devotion to, and research of his roles. He would often remain completely in character for the duration of the shooting schedules of his films, even, to the point of adversely affecting his health. He is one of the most selective actors in the film industry, having starred in only six films, since 1998, with as many as five years between roles. Protective of his private life, he rarely gives interviews, and makes very few public appearances. In June 2014, he received a knighthood for services to drama. Day Lewis announced his retirement in 2017, following the completion of his acting role in Phantom Thread. Day Lewis shifted between theatre and film for most of the early 1980s, joining the Royal Shakespeare Company and playing Romeo in Romeo and Juliet and Flute in A Midsummer Night's Dream before appearing in the 1984 film The Bounty. He starred in My Beautiful Laundrette, his first critically acclaimed role, and gained further public notice with A Room with a View. He then assumed leading man status with the unbearable lightness of being one of the most acclaimed actors in film history. Day Lewis has earned numerous awards, including three Academy Awards for Best Actor, for his performances in My Left Foot, There Will Be Blood, and Lincoln, making him the only male actor in history to have three wins in the lead actor category and one of only three male actors to win three Oscars. He was also nominated in this category for In the Name of the Father, Gangs of New York and Phantom Thread. He has also won four BAFTA awards for Best Actor, three Screen Actors Guild Awards and two Golden Globe Awards. In November 2012, Time named Day Lewis the world's greatest actor. Early Life Daniel Michael Blake Day-Lewis was born on 29 April 1957 in Kensington, London, the second child of poet Cecil Day-Lewis and his second wife, actress Jill Balkan. His older sister, Tamison Day-Lewis, is a television chef and food critic. His father, who was born in the Irish town of Bullintubbet, County Leash, was of Protestant Anglo-Irish descent, lived in England from the age of two, and was appointed Poet Laureate of the United Kingdom. Day Lewis' mother was Jewish. Her ancestors were immigrants to England in the late 19th century, from Latvia and Poland. His maternal grandfather, Sir Michael Balkan, became the head of Ealing Studios, helping develop the new British film industry. Two years after Day Lewis' birth, he moved with his family to Crooms Hill in Greenwich. He and his older sister did not see much of their older two half-brothers, who had been teenagers when Day Lewis' father divorced their mother, living in Greenwich. Day Lewis had to deal with tough South London children. Identified as Jewish and posh, he was often bullied. He mastered the local accent and mannerisms, and credits that as being his first convincing performance. Later in life, he has been known to speak of himself as very much a disorderly character in his younger years, often in trouble for shoplifting and other petty crimes. In 1968, Day Lewis' parents, finding his behavior to be too wild, sent him as a boarder to the independent Seven Oaks School in Kent. At the school, he was introduced to his three most prominent interests, woodworking, acting, and fishing. However, his disdain for the school grew, and after two years at Seven Oaks, he was transferred to another independent school, Beedales in Petersfield, Hampshire. His sister was already a student there, and it had a more relaxed and creative ethos. He made his film debut at the age of 14 in Sunday Bloody Sunday, in which he played a vondel in an uncredited role. He described the experience as, heaven, for getting paid two pounds to vandalize expensive cars parked outside his local church. For a few weeks in 1972, the Day Lewis family lived at Lemons, the North London home of Kingsley Amis and Elizabeth Jane Howard. Day Lewis' father had pancreatic cancer, and Howard invited the family to Lemons as a place they could use to rest and recuperate. His father died there in May that year. By the time he left Beedales in 1975, Day Lewis' unruly attitude had diminished and he needed to make a career choice. 
Although he had excelled on stage, at the National Youth Theatre in London, he applied for a five-year apprenticeship as a cabinet maker. He was rejected due to lack of experience. He was accepted at the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School, which he attended for three years along with Miranda Richardson, eventually performing, at the Bristol Old Vic itself. At one point he played understudy to Pete Postlethwaite, with whom he would later co-star in the film In the Name of the Father. John Hartoak, Day Lewis acting teacher at Bristol Old Vic, recalled. 1980s During the early 1980s, Day Lewis worked in theatre and television including Frost in May and How Many Miles to Babylon? For the BBC, 11 years after his film debut, Day Lewis had a small part in the film Gandhi is Colin a South African street thug who racially bullies the title character. In late 1982 he had his big theatre break when he took over the lead in another country, which had premiered in late 1981. Next he took on a supporting role as the conflicted, but ultimately loyal first mate in the bounty. He next joined the Royal Shakespeare Company, playing Romeo in Romeo and Juliet, and flute in A Midsummer Night's Dream. In 1985, Day Lewis gave his first critically acclaimed performance playing a young gay English man in an interracial relationship with a Pakistani youth in the film My Beautiful Laundrette. Directed by Stephen Frears and written by Hanif Qureshi, the film is set in 1980s London during Margaret Thatcher's tenure as Prime Minister. It is the first of three Day Lewis films to appear in the BFI's 100 Greatest British Films of the 20th Century, ranking 50th. Day Lewis gained further public notice that year with A Room, with a view, based on the novel by E. M. Forster. Set in the Edwardian period of turn of the 20th century England, he portrayed an entirely different character, Cecil Vise, the proper upper class fiancé of the main character. In 1987, Day Lewis assumed leading man status by starring in Philip Kaufman's adaptation of Milan Kundras' The Unbearable Lightness of Being in which he portrayed a Czech surgeon whose hyperactive sex life is thrown into disarray when he allows himself to become emotionally involved with a woman. During the eight months shoot he learned Czech and first began to refuse to break character on or off the set for the entire shooting schedule. During this period, Day Lewis and other young British actors of the time, such as Gary Oldman, Colin Firth, Tim Roth, and Bruce Payne, were dubbed the Brit Pack. Day Lewis threw his personal version of method acting into full throttle in 1989, with his performance as Christy Brown and Jim Sheridan's My Left Foot. It garnered him numerous awards, including the Academy Award for Best Actor and BAFTA Award for Best Actor. Brown, known as a writer and painter, was born with cerebral palsy and was able to control only his left foot. Day Lewis prepared for the role by making frequent visits to Sandy Mount School Clinic in Dublin, where he formed friendships with several people with disabilities, some of whom had no speech. During filming, he again refused to break character, playing a severely paralyzed character on screen. Off screen, Day Lewis had to be moved around the set in his wheelchair, and crew members would curse at having to lift him over camera and lighting wires also that he might gain insight into all aspects of Brown's life, including the embarrassments. Crew members were also required to spoon-feed him. It was rumored that he had broken two ribs during filming from assuming a hunched-over position in his wheelchair for so many weeks, something he denied years later at the 2013 Santa Barbara International Film Festival. Day Lewis returned to the stage in 1989 to work with Richard Eyre, as the title character in Hamlet at the National Theatre, London, but collapsed during the scene, where the ghost of Hamlet's father appears before him. He began sobbing uncontrollably and refused to go back on stage. He was replaced by Jeremy Northam, who received a standing ovation. Ian Charlson formally replaced Day Lewis for the rest of the run, but his ill health forced Northam to stand in again many times, although the incident was officially attributed to exhaustion. Day Lewis later claimed to have seen the ghost of his own father. He has not appeared on stage since. The media attention following his breakdown on stage contributed to his decision to eventually move from England to Ireland in the mid 1990s to regain a sense of privacy amidst his increasing fame. 1990s Day Lewis starred in the American film The Last of the Mohicans, based on a novel by James Fenimore Cooper. Day-Lewis character research for this film was well publicized. 
He reportedly underwent rigorous weight training and learned to live off the land and forest, where his character lived, camping, hunting and fishing. Day Lewis also added to his woodworking skills and learned how to make canoes. He carried a long rifle at all times during filming to remain in character and learned how to skin animals. He returned to work with Jim Sheridan on In the Name of the Father, in which he played Jerry Conlon, one of the Guilford Four, who were wrongfully convicted of a bombing carried out by the provisional IRA. He lost 30 pounds for the part, kept his Northern Irish accent on and off the set for the entire shooting schedule and spent stretches of time in a prison cell. He also insisted that crew members throw cold water at him and verbally abuse him. The film earned him his second Academy Award nomination, third BAFTA nomination, and second Golden Globe nomination. Day Lewis returned to the United States in 1993, playing Newland Archer in Martin Scorsese's adaptation of the Edith Wharton novel The Age of Innocence. To prepare for the film, set in America's Gilded Age, he wore 1870s period aristocratic clothing around New York City for two months, including top hat, cane and cape. In 1996, Day Lewis starred in The Crucible, a film version of the play by Arthur Miller. During the shoot he met his future wife, Rebecca Miller, the author's daughter. He followed that with Jim Sheridan's The Boxer, starring as a former boxer and IRA member recently released from prison. His preparation included training with former boxing world champion Barry McGuigan, and attending professional boxing matches such as the Nigel Benn vs Gerald McClellan world title fight at London Arena. Following The Boxer, Day Lewis took a leave of absence from acting by going into semi-retirement and returning to his old passion of woodworking. He moved to Florence, Italy, where he became intrigued by the craft of shoemaking. He apprenticed to as a shoemaker with Stefano Bama. For a time his exact whereabouts and actions were not made publicly known. 2000s After a five-year absence from filming, Day Lewis returned to act in Gangs of New York, directed by Scorsese and produced by Harvey Weinstein. In his role as the villainous gang leader William, Bill the Butcher, cutting, he starred alongside Leonardo DiCaprio, who played Bill's young protégé. He began his lengthy, self-disciplined process by taking lessons as an apprentice butcher, hiring a butcher from Peckham, South London to instruct him in carving up carcasses. He also hired circus performers to teach him to throw knives. While filming, he was never out of character between takes. At one point during filming, having been diagnosed with pneumonia, he refused to wear a warmer coat or to take treatment, because it was not in keeping with the period. However, he was eventually persuaded to seek medical treatment. His performance in Gangs of New York earned him his third Academy Award nomination and won him his second BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role. After Gangs of New York, Day Lewis' wife, director Rebecca Miller, offered him the lead role in her film The Ballad of Jack and Rose, in which he played a dying man with regrets over how his life had devolved and over how he had brought up his teenage daughter. During filming he arranged to live separately from his wife to achieve the isolation needed to focus on his own character's reality. The film received mixed reviews. In 2007, Day Lewis starred in Paul Thomas Anderson's loose film adaptation of the Upton Sinclair novel Oil titled There Will Be Blood. Day Lewis received the Academy Award for Best Actor, BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role, Golden Globe Award, for Best Actor Motion Picture Drama, Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Leading Role, and a variety of Film Critics Circle Awards for the role. In winning the Best Actor Oscar, Day Lewis joined Marlon Brando and Jack Nicholson as the only Best Actor winners awarded an Oscar in two non-consecutive decades. In 2009, Day Lewis starred in Rob Marshall's musical adaptation Nine as film director Guido Contini. Day Lewis was nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor Motion Picture Musical or Comedy and the Satellite Award for Best Actor Motion Picture Musical or Comedy for his role as well as sharing nominations for the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a Motion Picture, and the Broadcast Film Critics Association Award for Best Cast and the Satellite Award for Best Cast Motion Picture, with the rest of the cast members. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?